Hello and welcome to Leon's Lock Pad. We have got a, uh, we're going to do a Bill Bicardi lock today. Um, we'll get that into that in a minute. Um, as you can see, I have three, three of Bill's locks. They've been in my naughty bucket. And just like Steel Pidding says, um, you know, a lot of these locks end up in people's buckets you know, for a long time. And they really should be out there enjoyed. That's what, you know, it's what people make them for. So, um, it is right. Um, I've been thinking of this for a few uh, weeks that I need to get these out. But, you know, no, you know, after watching Steel Pin, it's encouraging me more to get these done and get them, and get them sent out. Because it's right. I've, I've got a few other people's locks in my night bucket, but they, uh, they're they more recent ones. But these ones, these are going to get picked and we're going to get these out. Starting with one of them today. It's been kicking me butt for so long, but... Um, so I got it open last night, so we're going to have another try. But before we start, um, please check out, you can see there, uh, Jason at s and &E Lock and Key. He's uh, an American um, locksmith, absolute great guy. I've subscribed to him quite a for quite a while ago, um, really good to watch. He's got really good content. He's always out on the job, taking his camera with him, showing you how it's done. Um, He's absolutely got great info. He's really fun to watch as well. He does some really amusing videos. Um, he's having a few problems at the moment. Uh, YouTube's uh, been a bit of a pain with him. Um, he's got quite, he's got over six hundred subscribers, but he's got um, I've been advertisements on there. They've told him if he doesn't get a thousand subscribers by the end of uh, the end of uh, February, I think it is, they're going to suspend his. Um, his channel and it's a channel we need because he is really great guy and he, he is really is worth the watch but um yeah please check him out and go and subscribe to him help him out um that's uh, s and e lock and key um he's well worth the watch he really is he's a very nice guy but um yeah please go and check him out also before we start if you're interested in lock sport and you want to get involved please check out www.uklocksport.co.uk if you like what's in my channel and you want to see some more, please hit the subscribe button down there. Or the bell and the bell icon if you're on a phone. As I make two, three videos a week for picky locks, to challenge locks, to lock tutorials, giveaways, all types of lock stuff related, really. Um, hopefully, let's get on with this lock. Now, this thing from Bill, yep, yeah, there's the bitting. Typical Bill Bacardi bitting. Legendary bitting, that is. My, it's my nemesis, Bill Bacardi's bitting. Key works beautifully. Yeah, the lock does, sorry. Um, you know, but he may, he does make some really tricky locks. Um, I mean, I've picked low locks from all around the world. I mean, T and J's they make some really tricky locks, and I've picked them. Uh, Bobby Keys, West Coast picks, Trackmaster Thirty. I, I name loads of you. You make absolute awesome locks. But, uh, Bill, legendary bit, and he makes it's absolute awesome. He really is a cool guy as well. And that's Bill Bacardi. Go and check out his channel as well. He's well worth it. He's another... Uh... I can't think of I've lost the plot now, I'm sorry. Locksmith. <laughs> but he does uh, picking videos for, with challenge locks and that. But um, he's well worth the watch. Awesome guy. There we go. The camera was too close. Let's see what we can do with this. You got the thing is with it, these locks a lot of they got pick off the warding. Oh, we've got a little click them. Another click off. That was a click off too. Click off three. Bit of a false set there, and it was a click off one. Oh, we got a little tiny bit more again, and that was a six. Fine. Oh, we got another little one on four. Some counter. Oh, 
have some more cubs then, but we've still got a fault set. So I think. Oh, I don't lost it all then. Do you know what? I'm gonna try uh I'm just gonna try a different pick. Fault set. I'll click on three. Oh, there we go. We got it. We got it. Yes. Oh wow. Wow, Bill. You make some awesome locks, mate. This thing has been kicking my ass for weeks and weeks. Every night I've been practicing on this lock. I finally picked it. Wow. That was. Br oh, I am so relieved. This is getting, I'm glad it's done because this is getting sent off. Get them out there again. Um, awesome. All right, let's, um, let's go and get it gutted. Give me a second. Board. Ooh, okay. I'm knocking things around and everything now. Right, let me just lock that back up. Where's, uh, am I missing anything? I was just double checking that I haven't forgot anything that I needed then. Try to have everything set up when I'm making videos, and sometimes I end up losing stuff. There we go. Right, so we need this. Yeah, I am so relieved to get this picked. I've got two more to do yet, and I've been um, I've been spending about half an hour on them each every night, not all together, at separate times. Because it was most of his bitting, as I'll show you, is very similar. You just just sometimes it's subtle touches that are different. But um, that's a slay key, which uh, has the groove. See this one, just a, a an ordinary key and a slay key. This one has a groove there where the warding fits in. You see that pick running down it. So that's a one tricky one, right? Oh, don't want to lose that pin. Is oh, there's the spring. We don't want to lose that, right? Turn it to the left now, there, and there we go. As you can see, everything needs to be picked. Let's see what's been kicking my backside. Wow. So that is a deep with three uh, keeping. Standard in two. It's a mushroom style keeping. Another standard. Number, number five. A bit stuck. Wow. I'll show you these more detail in a minute. What have we got here? We have got... Oh, we've got counter milling. We've got counter milling, we've got threading, and we've got counter milling. So counter milled, deep counter milling in five, four, two is deep, and the ones are like a medium counter milling. That is some serious work in there. Where's the tweezers? There we go. Just looking for the tweezers. Let me pull this. Give me one second. I do apologise. I'm going to try and sort this camera out a bit better. The thing is, with having a new kitchen, you know, it's nice, it might look great, but biggest pain in the backside about the kitchen. My cupboard, my work surfaces. Are three inches shorter, so the angle this is shorter, and it's irritating to get it right. I need to get a new uh, tripod, a better one anyway. Let's see what we've got going in here. Oh, no, upside down, don't want to do that. I've got to do this really, really gentle because I don't want to. 
Wow. I saw that come out and I saw that come out on the top of that spring as well. I got you. He goes in there. Do we have a... Well, it's all got something outside in there as well. Tiny little wafer. Then a spring. That spring don't want to come out. I'm not going to force him to come out. I don't want to ruin him. So this next one, I've got to be very gentle to come out the right way. There's the other half of the spring. Next one. Very nice spool. Ah, oh, it's a really thick spool up. Sounds like a tea pin. I'm going to go in the other way. We've got another big spool. And we've got something in number four. There we go. Another little wafer. It's on top of there like that. Right, springs. What we'll do, I will fetch them out with a pick. And then, least chance, I won't be damaging them. That one. That one. He's stuck. Like I say, if they're stuck in, I don't want to force them out. That's number two. Spring. But the rest, yeah. The rest of them are stuck in there. I don't fancy straight over stretching them because it'll change the characteristics of the lock. So this is what we've got, which is sort of fantastic. This is uh, this is absolute savage pinning. Really deep serrated key pin there. Really nice and even, but really nasty for catching on that uh, well, uh, that bit, um, the threading. We've got a standard, and then we've got like a mushroom style. It's going to catch you out. And then we've got a standard, and then we've got another one that's really, really deep, wide, and then thin serrations. It's going to give you all sorts of different types of feedback. That. Then we've got a standard. Um, drivers. We have got, now this is how it came in a lock, I don't know if it's right, but this is a, you get your driver, this driver, which looks like it was stuck in there, we've got a wafer there, then we've got a really wide and a deep spool, we've got another uh, deep spool, and then we've got more like a barbell spool, really thick chunky thing, and then we've got like a T-pin with a wafer underneath, it's more of like a drunken spool. If you get what I mean, as it uh, shifts about all over the place, and we've got another deep um, barbell style uh, spool with a steel spring in two, copper in uh, one, and in six we've got a copper. The other three uh, I saw, I could see that they are copper. I think one steel. I just don't fancy uh, stretching them. Um, Absolute awesome build mate, absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much for making this. I do apologise, I've had a couple of your looks now for a while. But, like I say, I am going to make sure I get these picked and we're going to get them sent on. Someone else could to enjoy them. Um, but yes, well I hope you like this video. Uh, don't forget to check out Bill, by the way. Bill Bicardi, awesome guy. And go and uh, subscribe to, well, subscribe to Bill and go and subscribe and check out... Uh, Jason at SE Lock and Key. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. And bye. Don't forget to like.